guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to film this as a YouTube live, but I thought it would be fun to use my actual camera that I used to film because the quality is just a lot better. But this video is going to be really laid back. As per usual, I just got done with work. I have a bunch of packages I want to unbox for you guys. And uh, so yeah, I'm going to try and keep it cash. I really hate how I look when my hair is up, but you know what, when you're trying to get to work on time and you gotta go, you know, you gotta put your hair in whatever state and get out the door. I did actually um, try out my Colored Brain eyeshadows, the singles I got. Um, I don't think, well, no, I hauled them for you guys in a live video, um, I think about two weeks ago, so I'll link it up above if you guys are curious to see some of the new eyeshadow items I got. Um, but yeah, first impression of those, they're bomb. So really, really fun eyeshadows. And um, yeah, so I got a ColourPop package and um, some KL polish. So I thought I'll show y'all what I got. And if you guys are interested, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, the button is down there and uh, yeah it would really help me out and it keeps you guys updated on my videos so thank you if you've already subscribed I really appreciate it it helps me grow my channel so yeah let's get into it I've never gotten a box this big from Colourpop which is quite shocking because I have quite a bit of Colourpop like eyeshadows and stuff but I usually always try to hit the minimum on shipping so I never get a lot of items this order was exciting because I really, really, really wanted the I Love Sarah Heat collection. Like, the colors really spoke to me, but I didn't want to pay the price. And so I was just, like, putting it off. And then the shadows were on sale. The single shadows and the palettes all went on sale for, like, $12, I believe. And they launched that palette that looks just like the Natasha Denona Sunset palette. So, of course, I had to place an order, and then I really like the look of their highlighter palette, too. So that's everything that's in here, and their packaging is great. I think they do a very good job. This is the big giant box. This is the wrapping. I just opened this, of course. And then here's the inside. It's very cute. It says Made in LA. There's a ton of foam. So much foam. Oh my god, this is so pretty. <gasps> uh, okay, so bill and stuff. And then this is the first thing I see. And this is the I Like Your Face palette. Very cute. Um, it's the pressed powder highlighting palette. And there's six highlighting shades in here. So are you guys ready for this? Uh, and I think this is getting restocked too quite soon so if you missed it the first time do not fear Colourpop is going to restock um, and this palette reminded me a lot of the Nicole Guerrero palette with ABH let me grab it really quick so we can compare the palettes because I really thought they were similar so one second I'll be right back okay so I'm back here is the palette Colourpop's been like Throwing out some dupes, I feel like. I don't know, I just feel like, I don't know. Don't they kind of seem similar? Like, the the layout and stuff? It just seems very similar, I think. So, I'm not saying it's identical, but I can see a resemblance there. So, let's go ahead and swatch these. Um, they feel kind of powdery. So, let's see, ooh, uh, okay, initial thoughts, not that impressive, the swatches are quite more subtle than I thought, but maybe that's a good thing with highlighter, let me just try, I feel like I need to, I don't know, it's weird, it's, it's like their uh, Super Shock Cheek Highlighter Formula. Um, and those are usually very highlighter-y. These are, I don't know, very sheer. 
So I'm kind of surprised because ColourPop's usually pretty banging with the pigment, but uh, maybe that's a good thing with highlighters. Maybe it'll be more subtle, but like more of a glow. Um, whereas like if I swatch like a Nicole Barrero one, like they're very, you see that? Versus these ones, the ColourPop. So that could be a difference just in the formula, like powder versus you know, like that pressed putty feeling that ColourPop has, but yeah, first impressions, I thought these were pretty similar, but they're really not that similar. Also, there's no like packaging to this. It just came like the palette. There's no box or sleeve or anything. So maybe that's how they can afford to make it so affordable because they were not very expensive, the palettes. And... Okay, let's open this one up. This is the palette. Yes, please. Press powder shadow palette. And this one was like $16, I believe. And I didn't really need this, but I just thought it looked so similar to the Natasha Denona palette, which I also have sitting right here. Here it is, the Sunset palette. Um, I made a video saying I'm going to return this palette. Um, and... I don't know, I just don't like the palette. And this palette is $129, so I really can't justify keeping it. I only return things I don't like. I don't just return stuff for the sake of returning it. And I don't just buy stuff for the sake of buying it. Um, I inevitably keep everything I like, but I already talked about how this palette is a hot glittery mess and I just don't think it's worth it. So I'll link that video up, the, up above. Um, but I just, as soon as I saw this, I was like, are you kidding me? Like, these shades, it's like almost like the same palette with the colors mixed around. So I just want to swatch a few. I'm going to swatch the yellow from the Natasha Denon palette and the yellow from the ColourPop. There they are. They look extremely similar. I'm trying to find a good place to swatch. So this is ColourPop and this is Natasha Denona. Yellow is a hard color to see on tan skin, so I should try something else. Okay, let's try, like, the gold shade. So what I didn't like about the Natasha Denona palette is the shimmers are very, um, like, chunky, and there's just so much fallout. So the top shade, or the bottom shade, is the Natasha Denona one, and then this one is the ColourPop one. So I think... So far, especially with the price, like I'm just impressed by the price. So let's try matte. There's a red, red shade in Natasha Denona, and this one's more like a brown shade, but with like more terracotta. So pretty similar. So I can find I I see a lot of similarities between these shadows. Like uh, this shade, the like the orangey shade from the Natasha Denona. There's one in the color pop very similar. I hope my camera is picking these up because I feel like ColourPop literally like played Natasha Denona and made a dupes palette. Um, so if this was Kat Von D, we'd probably see a video um, saying ColourPop was ripping off Natasha Denona. But And then here's the two peachy shades. This one is the Natasha Denona. This one is ColourPop. I feel like they're performing just as good as the Natasha Denona palette. So if you guys have been dying for this palette, I know she just made it permanent, but uh, this is $16 and this is $129. So I don't know what you guys think. I personally wish, because a lot of people's justification for the Natasha Denona palette is that it has a lot of product, which I agree is a great point. And if you're a professional makeup artist, you probably need as much product that comes with this palette. But for most people, you know, you don't need a whole lot of product. I would rather have a good quality palette for less money that has less product than pay a high price for a palette that has good quality and more product. Because I just, I'm never going to be able to justify the $129 towards this because I only do my own eyes. For the most part and your eyes are like 
one twentieth of your makeup. So it's so pointless to spend that money. And I feel like this is going to be a pretty good dupe. And I love the size. It's so compact. You can like take it with you anywhere. And I just think they did a good job with this. I've been trying not to buy ColourPop lately because I just have so much of their makeup. But I had to jump on this palette because I just thought it was a great deal. And then the last two things I got from them are these guys. And these are the I Love Sarahi um, eyeshadow palettes that they came out with. And I love this packaging. She like really killed it. And then this is the Saucy Quad. Oh no, it demagnetized. Thank God it didn't break. And here it is. I don't know, these moms just like spoke to me. Oh my God. That dark shade was so pigmented. So there's the Saucy Quad. Let me swatch. Ooh. That's really pretty. It reminds me a lot of the Dose of Colors Marvelous Mops palette. The purpley shades. But that's an all matte palette. And this one, the shade... Oh God. Oh my. Oh no. My eyeshadow just shattered into my pants. Like, do you guys see that? Oh God. No! Oh geez, Louise. I wish you guys could see this. What the heck? Ah! No! I just pressed it back. Like, I just, it was demagnetized, but it's fine. Now it just crumbled into my pants. God damn it! Uh. Little, just chunks of eyeshadow. I think I'm going to have to see if they'll replace it for me. You guys see this? Like, it's all over my phone. I ha I did have that instance with ColourPop where I had to contact their customer service um, because they um, that uh, Alexis Wren palette shattered on me um, while I was swatching it on like Instagram Live. This is what my eyeshadow looks like, in case anyone's curious. It's completely shattered. I don't even want to pick it up. Fuck! Ah, it was so pretty, too! And I'll have to wait for... Hopefully they'll send me a replacement. The last time, they just gave me, like, equal value, so I could reorder it, but it's not going to be that same price. So that's going to be a pain in the ass. Damn it! Oh, I'm so sad. It was, like, a pretty coral color. But at least the other ones are okay, so... I don't even know what to do. I'll probably have to take those out of the palette. So, there's that. Oh my god. Sad day. It's so soft. Like, really soft. Like, such a soft shadow. It will also be a really pretty blush color. Like, it's like a little bit of shimmer in it. Anyway, that was fucking depressing. Oh my gosh. I kind of want to cry a little bit. Let's pray that the other one is in good shape. Um, this is the Cheeky Quad. I really wanted both of these because, like, the colors just spoke to me. Like, this one just looks so simple. This, like, pinky champagne color, I was like, give me, give me that pink champagne color. So, um, let me swatch these. I'm going to try and be more careful. Oh, my gosh. The mattes are, like, butter. I'm actually so impressed with ColourPop right now. Um, yes. Loves. And this, like, quad is so basic. Like, if you're a beginner in makeup, how great is this? Because you've got your lid shade, your transition shade, your smoky color, your brow bone highlight. Done. Like, you don't need anything other than these four shadows. So... If you're like a beginner or you're looking for something easy to go, I would totally recommend which one is that? That's the cheeky one. So, loves that. I'm so bummed about my pants. <sighs> also, I'm bummed about the eyeshadow because I really hope they'll replace it. I just hope they'll send me a new one, but I know their customer service is probably so backed up because they're relaunching these palettes. Next package is from one of my favorite YouTubers brands. This is 
Kathleen Lights Kale Polish. She just had her summer launch. I would have bought all the colors, but I was trying to show restraint, and there were some colors from the spring collection I really, really wanted, but I was trying to be good because I was getting my nails done at one point, so I was like really didn't need nail polish, but I've since stopped doing that, so I'm going to... I decided to splurge on some Kathleen Lights nail polish. So she mails them out in bags, which is kind of shocking because I, I can't imagine like nail polish being secure and something like this, but, and her shipping is not cheap, so I don't know why, but it says here, hey guys, I'm so excited for you to try my polishes. Thank you so much for your love and support. I can't wait to see you rocking the shades. XO Kathleen, bye for you. Five free. Five free nail polishes are free of potentially harmful chemicals. I'm not going to read all the chemicals. These are cruelty free and made in the USA. Hashtag kale polish. And she just looks so pretty in all the campaign photos. I just love her. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. I've been following her well be before she had millions of subscribers. But I just love her. I know sometimes she's like uber positive. But I just think she's always stayed true to who she is. Which... I love, she's not a sellout YouTuber, um, and so this is what each individual polish is wrapped in, like black paper, and I'm just going to have to cut this because my battery's dying. <laughs> okay, and if you've never seen the KL Polish packaging, I actually bought some from her initial launch. Um, what did she launch her brand last year in fall? So I have a few shades from that collection, um, but I haven't purchased since, and this was one color I was so excited for. This is from her spring collection, and it's this um, shade 305, and that's Miami's area code. She said her summer collection was dedicated to Miami, so all the names represent Miami. Also, this is really embarrassing, but I waited for these polishes to come to redo my nails, so it's really embarrassing that I'm doing like a nail polish unboxing with really shitty nails, but we all have to start somewhere, but this color just spoke to me. If you guys know, green is like my favorite color, so when I saw this shade, I had to get it. Um, I know Sally Hansen has a lime green nail polish like this that I used to own ages ago, uh, but I wanted to support Kathleen Light, so that was one of the shades I picked up from her summer collection, and this is like fun because if you like to open packages, everything's like individually wrapped. This is from the spring collection. I really wanted this shade. This is called Coconut Milk. And it's like a really, really pretty, like, off-white, white shade. Like, it's almost white, but it's not like a brilliant white. It's like a pastel white, if you will. So I'm super pumped for that. What will the next shade be? It's all a mystery. You see what I did there? Poetry. I could have done this before the video, but I wanted the art of suspense to linger. This is Port Miami. If you guys see my nail polish collection, I'm going to do a nail polish collection video. Blues and greens populate my nail polish collection, and, like, of course I had to have this color. Like, it's, like, too pretty. Come on. And Kathleen Light said that was one of her favorite shades in the collection, so, you know, I knew she was... I just, she just knows what I want, okay? And then, so those are the only two I got from the summer collection. I was really tempted to get the pink and the red, but I just think pink and red just don't look, like, they're not my favorites on my nails. And then she had, like, a beautiful shimmer shade. Oh, God, I really hope I didn't break something. Um, she had a really beautiful shimmer shade, but I didn't want that because I hate removing shimmer nail polish. This is, again, from the spring collection. This is Hug and Roll. It's, like, a beautiful pastel purple. So, of course, I had to get, get that. I mean, come on. It's too pretty not to. And then... What will this one be? I'm going to try and show you guys my crotch. So, that's where the eyeshadow... Like, I caught it in my crotch. And my battery died when I was unboxing that last kit, like one of my last kale polishes. So I had to get up. So I thought I'd show you my crotch because why not? Um, so yeah, this is the shade St. Clair. And this reminds me so much of Essie. What is Essie's color called? 
shoot, it's really pretty. It's a shade exactly like this by SE. Can't remember, but I was like, hell yeah, kale polish. Like, I'll take one. I'll take one. And then this last one is from her original fall line. It's a shade Zoe. Um, I'm like obsessed with mauve nail polishes. So I've always wanted Zoe. It was it sold out like right away um, when she first launched it. And so I figured since I was picking up all these other shades, I'll go ahead and grab Zoe too. And this is like right up my alley. If you guys know what kind of nail polish I'm into, this is basically like perfection so I got six shades and uh, I can't wait to put these on my nails so if you guys want a review on kale polish let me know in the comments down below because I have some of the other shades too so yeah I have a few shades from every collection which is exciting so bummed about my color pop shadow that shattered hopefully I can get a replacement um, I hope my pants survive I'll keep you guys updated and uh, I hope that comparison helped you guys out. If you want to see a, few, a if you want to see a full video comparing the two palettes, let me know. I would love to film that for you guys. I probably need to test the ColourPop palette more before I do that. But uh, I'm gonna get back to uh, my salad that I was eating. Super delicious kale from our garden and uh, some ham and some other yumminess. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this cash video. Uh, most of my videos I'm super, super like done up and uh, got the lights on and stuff, but I just wanted to show you guys a little bit more of um, my life. And uh, yeah, hope you guys liked it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Bye.